This is the Standing Committee on Natural Resources and Economic Development. Uh, I'm Rafa Di Costanzo, the MLA for Clayton Park West. Uh, and today will be really just an agenda setting. We, we don't have any witnesses. Um, we're preparing the topics for the next full year, I guess, for this year. Um, this meeting will be in conf uh, video conference. I'm just going through the, the usual. Uh, do we have anybody that wasn't there this morning or not familiar, but I will go through them. Uh, members, the, the committee, the clerk, and the Legislative Council should keep their video on during this meeting with their microphone on mute unless the chair calls on them to speak. They should mute uh, their own microphone before speaking and, uh, and then put it back on mute afterwards. All other staff uh, should have their audio and video turned off. If you have other devices, like uh, cell phones, please check that they are on mute or on vibrate. And please try not to leave your seat during this meeting unless it's absolutely necessary. If I need to confer with the clerk and the legislate or the Legislative Council or members um, wish to confer before a vote, uh, I may call for a recess. If any members have technical problems, please reach out to um, Heather, not to me. <laughs> uh, ask the committee members, to, uh, now I can ask the committee members to introduce themselves. So we will be starting with the Honorable Patricia Arab. Ms. Arab. Hi everyone, thanks for letting me join today. Patricia Arab, Fairview Clayton Park. Thank you, Ms. Arab. Uh, Mr. Glavine, Minister, uh, Honorable Mr. Glavine. Uh, Leo Glavine, MLA for Kings West. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you. The Honorable uh, Mr. Jessen, Ben Jessen. Good afternoon, folks. MLA Ben Jessen for Hammonds Plains, Lucasville. And Mr. Horn, is that next? Thank you so much. Uh, Bill Horn, MLA for Waverly, Fall River, Beaver Bank. Honorable Pat Dunn. Mr. Dunn. Oh, he's, uh, okay, I'll pass him, we'll come back to him. Mr. Rushton. Good afternoon, Tori Rushton, MLA Cumberland South. Thank you. Ms. Roberts. Good afternoon, Lisa Roberts, the MLA for Halifax Needham. Thank you. Last but not least, Ms. Chender. Good afternoon, Claudia Chender, MLA for Dartmouth South. Thank you. Is Mr. Dunn able to introduce himself or we're still waiting? All right, so the topic today is just the agenda setting. Does everybody have the, uh, the topics in front of them? Uh, we can start with the PC caucus and there are one, two, three, four, uh, four topics, and you get to choose two out of four, if I believe. Uh, who would like to speak for the PC caucus to choose the topics? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. It'll be me. Mr. Rushton, go ahead, please. Uh, thank you very much. And in the absence of uh, MLA Don, uh, I'd like to request uh, our, our first two topics, the first being the Beaches Act, and the second topic on our list, uh, sustainable agriculture. Uh, community water systems and groundwater contain contamination protection. Perfect. Any discussion? No. I, oh, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Roberts. Hi. Um, the PC Caucus has proposed um, Department of Lands and Forestry uh, related to the um, beaches and, and coastal uh, issues. Um, I wonder if they, they would be the of the Department Sorry, Ms. Roberts, we lost you. The sound wasn't good. Uh, uh, we, you're, you're losing connection. anxiously being across Nova Scotia, and I understand that is under uh, um, particularly, I think, John, the executive director. So, uh, Ms. Roberts, you're going to have to repeat the whole thing. Your connection has been bad. We hardly heard what you said. So I don't know if your connection is low. Do you want to try it again? 
We missed 90% of what you said. Uh, Did you hear me? No. Okay. I, I think she's trying. Just give her a second, Madam Chair, to get a better connection. No problem. Does this work better? Yes, I believe so. Just okay. Please. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, well, I repeat everything because I, it wasn't clear. Okay. I was wondering if the PC caucus would be open to adding the Department of Environment to the topic related to coastal, uh, coastal and beach issues because the Coastal Protection Act, I understand, is being developed by the Department of Environment. I understand that the, the person responsible uh, is John Summers. I'm not sure at what level in the department, um, but I would like, I, I, I think that might add some um, additional value to that important topic if the caucus is open to that proposal. Mr. Rushton, go ahead, please. Uh, by all means, I, I certainly uh, I, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't include the Department of Environment in, the, in this aspect. I know some of the issues that are coming to our caucus office have actually been linked to uh, to uh, contacts within the Department of Lands and Forestry, but with the development of the, of the other aspects, I, I have no opposition to that, certainly. We will add that. Uh, everybody's in agreement. Just put your hands up and, and we'll accept that. Thank you. Uh, we, and... But, um, Ms. Hardidot, you, you got that, right? You will include the Department of Environment. Thank you so much. All right, we're done with the PC caucus. We move on now to the NDP caucus. Who would like to speak on the topics? On the one topic, I believe? Ms. Roberts or Ms. Chender? Ms. Roberts, go ahead. Thank you. Um, so the topic uh, we would like to put forward at this time is uh, COVID-19 economic recovery uh, with a number of witnesses. Um, CCPA Atlantic, uh, that's the Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives and, and uh, for them, Dr. Karen Foster. Um, also uh, helping Nature Heal, Rosemary Lonis and uh, Unimaki Institute of Natural Resources, um, as well as L. Jones, Quest, related to, uh, that's related to deep energy retrofits, and, uh, and QP. Okay, um, if I may, uh, this seems to be a, a large number of witnesses, and we know that if we have a large number, are they all um, presenting and having a, um, you know, it's just a, a large number. There'll be very little time for questioning if we have that many people. Uh, maybe we can limit it to two or three and, and the others. Uh, will they be presenting opening remarks and, and closing remarks and all that as well? I, we just, I'm, I'm worried about the time that they that would take. Ms. Chender, go ahead. Uh, uh, well, Madam Chair, I think we've seen this number um, of presenters um, in the past a number of times. I think it would be fair that we could um, limit the introductory remarks to a certain amount of time. But I also think it's as, you know, with one topic, it's a good opportunity to have a number of different folks to ask about the economic recovery. I think, you know, often we're in a very kind of narrow band of talking to business or talking to, you know, one sector or another. And so we felt it was important to have this broader sector. So taking into account what you're saying, I think, you know, on the front end, in terms of opening remarks, we can certainly do our best to make sure everyone has time to ask questions. Okay, maybe Ms. Hardita can tell them only, uh, you know, 10 minutes total, and they have to share it somehow between them. That's the normal time approximately. Uh, I see the hand from Mr. Jessen. Go ahead, Mr. Jessen. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, in the interest of, of uh, I guess in the spirit of that subject, I would su suggest that we add the Department of Inclusive Economic uh, Development, Growth and Economic Development to that list of um, stakeholders related to the subject of COVID-19 economic recovery. Sure, yeah, the government is not included in your list. Ms. Uh, Roberts. 
I think we would be open to that, uh, but with, um, you know, maybe 20 minutes total for opening remarks uh, divided, uh, which I think is fairly typical amongst um, uh, four, four committees uh, in a two hour in a two hour meeting. I think 20 minutes of opening remarks uh, is is fine. And um, we can also um, no, uh, yeah, and, and and we'll we'll communicate with our witnesses to ensure that they understand the importance of of keeping their opening remarks tight. Perfect. Thank you. So we're in agreement with total twenty minutes, and we're including the government as well. Correct. Perfect. Or show hands that everybody's in agreement. Wonderful. Thank you. I'll take this opportunity to uh, ask Mr. Uh, Mr. Dunn to introduce himself before I move on to the Liberal Caucus. Just want to make sure we can hear you, Mr. Dunn. We, we can't hear you. No. I, I believe you're still on mute. No. All right, we see you, but we don't hear you. Anyway, um, Mr. Dunn is with us. Uh, next, uh, we are going to the Liberal Caucus, and who would like to speak on behalf of the Liberal Caucus for the topics? Sorry, Mr. Jessam, are you speaking to the, yep, yeah, sorry, I, I did see your hand. Go ahead, please, Mr. Jessam. No, you, sorry, I'm my, my internet's being kind of a little spotty here too, folks, I apologize, just bear with me. Um, so we're do, we're doing these as a, as a slate, or are we doing it one for one? No, you, you can choose all three. Uh, it's up to you. Would you like me to go one by one? Let's. No, no, I, I can I can do them in in a in a in a slate here. Yes. Um, the three topics out of the four. So we're looking we're looking to uh, contribute uh, one one two and four on your list. So. Uh, how Nova Scotia is preparing for climate change with uh, Jason Hollett, Kayla Milne, uh, and Sat Satya Rahman, uh, the Lobster Center of Excellence, Michelle Terrio, uh, and Gordy McLaughlin, Jordi, excuse me, McLaughlin, and get your hands on local Emily Haynes and Scott Hosing. Perfect. Any discussion? I see none. We are in agreement. If everybody put their hand and but three topics for the Liberal Caucus. Great. Um, I'm just going to see agenda setting committee business. Oh, sorry, Ma Madam Chair. Yes. Did I did I miss the second con uh, the PC PC subject? I'm sorry. Yes, they did. Um, they did the first two. Okay. Sorry, I, I, yeah, I missed that. Thank it you. It was the first two. I'm, I'm correct, right? For the PC caucus, it was the first two. Um, so next is the committee business. We had a letter from the Department of Infrastructure and Housing in response to the request for information made at the meeting for February 25th, 2021. And the correspondence was sent uh, twice, I believe. Does everybody, um, has everybody received it? And is there any discussion? I see none, thank you. Uh, the next thing is our next meeting is tentative on May 25th um, at one till 3 p.m. And the, um, the clerk will be checking with the uh, witnesses, correct? To see who we will have. You will be reaching out to the witnesses uh, and for, for that uh, meeting, correct, uh, Ms. Hoditor? Yes, that is correct, Madam Chair. Thank you. I, any other issues or discussion? If I see none, we will adjourn the meeting. And I thank you all. This was a fast and easy, um, and I hope Mr. Dunn, you're, you're, you're able to fix your technology, but it's lovely to, to see you here. Uh, and thank you all. Bye-bye. Me meeting adjourned. <laughs>